So that's how we started. But before I can show you the final result, I gotta take this apart because it'd be broken. So what we got here is the antifreeze pump for the air system. It is a manual doodangle. So the cover comes here. You have this plunger that mates with this. Basically you put alcohol inside the cup and every now and again, when you're driving, right? Obviously the cap is here. You get this plunger and it pushes down on yet another plunger. Okay, there's a spring in there, keeps it from come, you know, keeps it from staying pressed down. Plus, there's another spring all the way in there. Okay, and what looks like another valve that seats up against probably a little pinhole. Okay, because you don't want a little incontinent antifreeze pump. Now they did come with the man, uh, the automatic ones that do this on their own. Um, I think it was a, still a press of a button so the driver had to be aware and, you know, jam that button like you're supposed to jam that like and subscribe button. Okay. But we're gonna be taking this apart and trying to do a better job at cleaning it even though this is probably the best it's been in many decades. Oh, all right. So before we get into all the insanity, there is a new thing. Uh, that you might have noticed. I feel like I got in bed with the devil, but an Amazon affiliate thing that you might see. Uh, two things. One, it's basically money coming out of their pocket, so it ain't gonna raise your price. But it does help me. I am freaking broke. And I need to get this bus on the road and make these videos, so if you're gonna buy something, get the links from me. And even if you don't want to buy that one, but when you're in that little shopping session or whatever, that counts, that helps, you know, it's 1%. So it's like, Amazon is paying it. We're leaving money on the table, so might as well do it. The second thing I, I, I'm i gonna vow to you is I'm never going to pimp out. Let us pray the pimp's prayer. Bullshit products. Even if it's cha-ching and big money, I'm not doing that, so. Like, let's take this battery for example, right? This is the kind of stuff that you can find on Amazon, but I wouldn't recommend buying them from Amazon because there's so many fakes. Uh, people return, they, they order a real one and they return a fake one. Amazon doesn't know, they chuck it in with the rest. And next thing you know, you order a $300 battery because they are pricey and you get a piece of junk. I'm not gonna do that. Like I said, this is a known issue. So if it's something that I have ordered and it really works and it's good, again, not gonna pimp out. My name is a pimp named Slickback. Crap products either that I know are garbage. That's not what, what I'm about. Uh, I ain't made of money. So every dollar I spend, I wanna know it goes into a good tool, it's gonna do the job and it's gonna last me. So that being said, if you're gonna buy something, damn better buy it from my link there. It's gonna be below, right under my balls. Eh, that's right. Okay, now let's see what the hell that stupid pump thing is and <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna need metric crap again. Okay, so let's start off with, uh, this is this little 3 8 stubby impact. This is a phenomenally good tool. It's tiny and it's got power. So if there's just one single impact from Milwaukee that you're gonna get, this would be the one. Although, because of the battery platforms, you typically wanna go with one and the same across the board, right? And not everything Milwaukee puts out is good, but this in particular, and its big brother, which I'll show you in a bit. Uh, this is worth the money, okay? Uh, one of it. All right. Lefty Lucy. Uh, did I break that? Oh no, it's just very shallow. Okay, what do we got in here? 
Ah, like I said, there's a little pin and it's got a little gasket. Okay, so we're going to just put that aside for now. Get away bag, I don't need you. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. It's always good to keep a rag. T-shirts make for the best rags. Uh, and now daddy's home. Ugh. Okay, why do I need the Big Mama Jamma? Well... Oh, the tag! Oh, that's not the size of my hat. It's the size of my... There we go. Nice little gray pneumatic. Um, I wish they would label these a little better. And I wish this one had a handle. It does did not. So it's a little pain in the ass to, to grab. But, you know, half inch drive, deep. I try, but I choke. Matrix. There we go. I'm doing this upside down so you guys can see as well. Get over there. Okay, so I'm trying to get that sucker out. 27 millimeter. Now there's two of these suckers in here. Come on. It helps if I can see what I'm doing, please. All right. Lefty Lucy. Get inside of there, whore. Whoa! Yeah, that's not gonna happen in here. I broke it. <laughs> it's always a possibility in this shop. Oh crap. <clears throat> okay, so now it's jammed in here. Just gotta get you out of there. <sighs> Holy crap, man. Whoa, there you go. Alright, part of what happened was it went a little cockeyed and the spring got compressed a little just enough to put tension on it but let's see um why is it not liking it this should slide in fairly easily but it is not when i tighten it back up what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, manually do it i expect you to have control over yourself here we have another fitting which I'm also assuming is a 27 millimeter. Yep, another 27, so daddy's back. Oh, harder, daddy. Oh, for the love of God, get in there. All right, now I do not recommend doing this with this beast in your hand. You gotta have a really firm grip, and uh, I, I do. Oh, that freaking hurts. All right, finally, we have some mess. Whew. Look at that junk. Holy mother of God. I made a mess all over my tools. Wow, that's gonna leave a mark. Okay, so let's see what we got. Um, I might have to look at the video. I forgot which way this went. Okay, yeah, this is the part that was up here. And you can tell from all the gunk that's left over. All right. Yeah, that fitting is all garbage. Oh, fitting, O-ring, that's garbage. It needs to be replaced. I may have something similar in size. Okay, so we have the base and uh, inlet, outlet. Uh, and the cup rests on top of this fitting. This sucker is so light. I've never held something so light. Aha! You would think that this is heavy. It, this is heavier, and this is just plastic. This is heavier than this thing. I don't know what material this is. It's mucked up to hell. So, 
this is our adapter fitting. I'm going to try to put these somewhat aligned. Okay. Uh, this is the cup, which is in still very good condition, but now I can clean it up without damaging it with the sanding. Uh, it has this little lip to keep it from rotating when you tighten it up, okay? Uh, wrong direction, here, this way. So this little bevel goes inside the outer di uh, inner diameter of the base, and this just kind of locks it in place. All right. So that's, those are them two parts. And this guy went inside here. And this guy screws on top of that. And I imagine there's gotta be an opening somewhere. Oh, there we go. So if you can see here, I'm gonna try to point it with that. Right in there, there, there's a little hole. And I imagine that's the level above which you need to put alcohol. So alcohol drips inside. You got your little plunger sitting inside of this shaft. And I'm gonna test it out, see how snug we're going. Oh, very nice. That's the... So here's a quick test. You wanna make sure the plunger still works. Compress it. And it should. It works. Creates a little tiny vacuum that makes the pop. Anyways, yes. Pretty tools. Nice tools. Daddy loves tools. Okay, where's my 27? That's right. Who's a big boy? Shut up and take it. As I said, I would like to clean this. I have no idea how though. What the hell? Bottom line, when you get a good day, when you feel something, you know, like in you, you wake up and you got that spring in your step, then take advantage of it. Get get to, get to doing something that maybe is a little tricky, it's outside of your comfort zone, and like this. This is definitely, uh, it was a risk, you know. I have no idea what could be in here. Could I find the gaskets? Could I find the seals? Could, what, if, what if it's, if this was all jacked up and out of round, I gotta machine it. But I took a chance, it paid off, and now I can move on to the next step. So, get back to work. There's already gunk separating from it. Eh, maybe not. All right, so, I'm going to let this uh, get drunk. I'm going to take a little break myself. And I'll come back to it in a bit. 